It's called a handstand. <laughs> you may have heard people say things like, use your fingers for your handstand, squeeze your fingers, activate your fingers. You might not have any idea what that means, so I'm going to give you a few tips today so you can understand exactly what it means when people say to use your fingers. Here are two drills that are going to help you practice using your fingers in a handstand. For this first one, we're going to handstand up to the wall and we're going to go as close to the wall with our fingers as we possibly can. From there, we're going to find your handstand line. So the handstand line will be shoulders elevated, we've got our ribs in, we've got our tailbone tucked under, legs are squeezed together, and we're pointing our toes. Uh, this is really important to do this before you start to squeeze your fingers because it's going to help everything to stay really tight together and make it way easier to use your fingers. So I'm gonna show you that. Hand standing up to the wall, fingers nice and close. From here, finding your handstand line. Elevating through the scapula, we're going to tuck our tail under, pull our ribs in, legs tight together, toes pointed, and then from here, looking between your hands, you're going to gently squeeze your fingers into the floor to pull your body away, just ever so slightly away from the wall, so that you can feel your weight is now in your fingers and not on the wall anymore. We think about our fingers as something similar to a brake. So our fingers are stopping us from going too far over. And so how this translates to a freestanding handstand is when you do your handstand kick up, there's a point where you get to the handstand and you want to stop because now you're in place. So activating the fingers is going to stop you, put the brakes on, from going too far over into your handstand position. So what we're looking for when we're squeezing our fingers into the ground, it's almost like you're trying to push your fingers into the ground like this, pushing down like this and also squeezing your fingers and that is what is going to start to take the weight through your fingers and move your body away from the wall. What you'll probably find is the first time that you try to do this drill, you'll probably squeeze your fingers into the ground and you'll fall straight off the wall and that's okay. Keep practicing and learn how to fine tune it to the point where you're squeezing, you're pulling yourself away from the wall, you're relaxing, coming back, squeeze, pull away and relax and come back. For drill number two, we are gonna go chest to wall this time. So climbing up to your chest to wall handstand or cartwheeling, however you like to enter your handstand. And then from here, we wanna be a little bit further away from the wall from the last drill. So maybe about this far away from the wall. From there, we're going to stack our joints. So we've got our wrists, our shoulders and our hips. We're going to squeeze our fingers into the ground, leaning our weight forward, and then gently start to pull one foot away from the wall till the other foot gets light bring the foot back and then do the same with the other leg. Maybe you're not ready to practice those drills on the wall yet, but we can still practice activating the fingers and we can do it down on the floor. So come down onto the floor, knees and hands onto the floor. From here, what we're gonna do is squeeze the fingers into the floor, lean forward and use the strength of the fingers to push ourselves backward again. So again, leaning forward then sending the weight forward and then using the fingers, squeezing into the floor to bring yourself back again. If you are working on your handstands and you're looking for more handstand tips, we actually have an awesome app, TMC Move Pro. I'll put the link in the descriptions down below.